website welcome back to another video today i'm going to do how to build a nice fundamental chest especially for you guys that are beginner lifters i know you guys love how to videos and you guys want to know where to start here's the video make sure you stay tuned lock in let's get to it So I don't know if y'all guys hurt me because the freaking, I, I forgot to hit record on my camera, but I usually start off loosening up my back a little bit, like rolling out a little bit, doing a couple of uh, isolation movement, just to like loosen up my back. That's where my power's coming from. That's mainly where my power's coming from. Everyone's different, but this helps me a lot. Let's get a full range of motion. So I'm not, you know, I'm not stiff. I already rolled out. I'm just doing a little bit extra. Ball, you know niggas keep talking on these rabbit and chopper. Maybe take a different ride or get a different driver. Movement of the day is a chest fly. It's like an isolation movement just to get the blood flowing through the chest. Get all the chest fibers activated before we go to our compound movement. A lot of people, a lot of like influencers do this, all bodybuilders do this too. So it's a very effective way um, to get a massive pump to get as much blood flow as possible. We're to emphasize a nice squeeze and a low, a slow, eccentric, you know, countdown. And then right now is to get my pinkies to touch i'm literally emphasizing you know bring my pinkies together i would really stick stick to a weight that doesn't feel too much heavy that you can control but you're gonna get a good contraction with it. Don't go too heavy, don't go too light, but stay right in the middle and you're gonna be, you know, get a lot of blood flow going to the chest uh, and you get a nice contraction, get a nice, uh, get a nice pump going before you go to your compound movements. All right, this next movement is a bench press, but me personally, I don't like benching just cause I don't have stability with my rotator cuff and my shoulder. So doing dumbbells, I have a better uh, range of emotion. I get a, a deeper range of emotion, especially if you're gonna, if you're gonna push heavy weight. So I like the bench, I, I recommend doing benching, but me personally, I feel more comfortable doing dumbbells cause I feel more safer, I feel more contract, I feel more controlled. So warm up about 10 to 12, 12, 10 to 12 reps. Nice control, really, really feeling the movement. If you guys didn't see, I have my elbows at a 45 degree angle, more than a 90 degree angle, just so I can protect my uh, rotator cuff. You have more of a st uh, stable range of motion if you go 45 degree angle. And you want to focus on, you want to focus on bringing your elbows together. So bring your elbows together at the top of the movement. Nice contraction, get a nice range of motion. You get a lot of blood flow going. Right, this next movement is an incline press. Really want to focus on controlling the weight more than just pushing it heavy. Really just control and contract the uh, upper part of my chest. I was, my upper part of my chest is like what I'm really lacking right now. Being able to emphasize that and get as much blood flow there. Time under tension rather than just pushing heavy weights. Going to definitely maximize my growth. I'm still keeping it at a 45 degree angle. I'm not going at 90. Keep it at 45. Really emphasizing getting my pinkies together. Have my elbows touch. So
chest for 15. Um, really just focuses on getting as much blood flow as possible. It's contraction. to the chest. I'm really just focusing and squeezing. Contracting my chest. but we don't have a legitimate dip machine so I'm just using this for reference but this is the last movement of the workout so we're gonna finish off with this and we got cardio Yeah, we just finished the uh, chest day. About to head home right now. Get something to eat because I'm starving. I'll show you guys what I eat for my first meal. Then uh, we're gonna cut the video here. So thank you guys for staying tuned. So we just got back to the crib. I actually have a, a good. I have like a, a surprise for you guys. I got an early birthday gift. So we're about to go check it out right now. Let's get it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What other way to receive a birthday gift or receive two new pots? Yes, sir. We got two new pots here. Non-stick. Bro, this is like, shout out to my aunt, man. The GOAT, honestly, the GOAT. She knew that, you know what I'm saying? My mom was always getting pissed off because I was using her pants and I was scratching them up. So she um, bought me a new set, man. And I got me nice little wooden spatulas and wooden spoons I can cook with, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, shout out to you, auntie, appreciate it. Definitely a go-to, man. These these pots are. I used one last night. Fire, bro. Fire. You guys, want to check it out? You guys, want to get one? It's called got granite, uh, non-stick pan. Oh, this on granite. Ooh. Oh, this on. This on expensive. <laughs> Show you guys what I eat for my first meal. Yes, sir. That's it for the video. So I did four egg whites and one whole egg for breakfast of meal number one. I'm gonna throw a uh, protein shake in there as well to get um, some protein, extra protein in there. So yeah, like I said before, my carbs did drop, but everything's just, you know, light right now. And hopefully we get a refeed this week. Um, If we do, definitely gonna show you guys that. Hopefully you get a cheat meal this week too. Uh, see what, my birthday's coming up. So yeah, other than that, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Code Dre, Alpha Line Code Dre, The Lost Breed, and God Like down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Stay blessed, man. Hey.